Hi, this is Ron Nutter with another edition of Tech Bytes with Ron Nutter product reviews. Today, we're going to take a look at the Ubiquity Networks Unify Cloud Key Plus Generation 2 with one terabyte storage and three things you need to know. Well, there's actually going to be more than that, but we'll, we'll get into it. There are two versions of this you can buy. You can buy it with an SSD or a hard drive. Your call how you want to do it. So, and the, but the beauty of it is you can upgrade the storage. So it's a matter of pulling out one drive, putting in another. So that really is as your needs grow, because I, I ran the numbers and it's going to be for what was it, three cameras? Uh, you will have something about seven days worth of storage. So you can have more. So if you don't quite hit the cusp of getting, uh, an NVR, Network Video Recorder, from Ubiquity. This is an alternative. Plus it also, well, we'll get into that. Thing number one, this functions as an NVR or Network Video Recorder for the Ubiquity cameras. Now, there are limitations as to the number and type of camera it will support for obvious reasons, and the biggest of which it only comes with one terabyte of storage, so you're going to have to watch how many cameras you're putting on it, or no, you really don't have to watch it because there is, uh, and there's a processing limit. And if you really are going to be pushing high end or need a month or more of storage, you're going to have to look at, at the conventional NVR from Ubiquity. Now, thing number two, you have your choice, and I, there's a going to be pros and cons to both of these. You can have either an SSD or a hard drive. So there's really not, there's not a bad way to go. Now, if you're wanting to be as minimal as you can on power draw, then you'll probably want to look at an SSD. If you really don't care, go with that one. But the beauty of it is, you know, there's, you have your way and all you do is flip over the cloud key hold back a spring-loaded button and the drawer pops out. So that, you, you can't be any easier for that. Now, thing number three, the controller is able to function in either a local or cloud-based mode. So if you're at a remote cabin or your internet connection's not always there, you might want to look at local mode. But on the other hand, if you want to make sure you get updates and being able to access remotely a little easier than certainly the cloud version. So you, my understanding, and we'll be looking more at this in, in some other videos, that you can go neither way. Thing number four, and this is a bonus item, the storage is upgradable. So if you find yourself either, you, like I said, you're about seven days worth of storage from the number calculators that are on uh, Ubiquity's website. If you find you need to add a few more days or you just, some of the cameras are capturing so much you need to, you, you want to keep more of it, then you can change the either SSD or the hard drive so that there's really no penalty to that. So that's something well worth taking a look at. So take a look at this today, see what you think about it, and I think you'll be very pleased with it. 